Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show. The World Cup 2022 is here. We are glad to be here on one of the most brilliant and beautiful games in world football. That is the World Cup 2022 in Qatar this year. That's It was a long intro, but we still move. But this is Group E with Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, and Japan. A great group, if you ask me. Everybody, thank you for joining in on YouTube and on Spotify. Thank you for being here. But let us get into meeting everybody that's here first. First, let me introduce my co-host of the show, Emilio. How are you doing, mate? Hey, tomorrow is the World Cup. I can't wait to watch the first game. Yes, by the time this episode comes out, it's gonna already going to be like a lot of days in. <laughs> so, yes, but I hope, I hope everybody's enjoying the tournament at least. So, I hope it's all going well. Hopefully, no, nothing bad happens. Like, uh, there's some bad news today that happened, but it, we'll, we'll talk about that later. And also, <laughs> let me introduce you to another guest in the show. Jesse, how are you doing? You are from Germany, and Bayern München is one of your favorite teams. How are you? Hi. Yes, I'm doing very good. Uh, yeah, indeed, I'm from Germany. Um, I've just started watching Bundesliga more yeah, in detail when I'm starting to actually play some um, fantasy soccer with some friends. So, okay. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Well, I'm glad to have you on. Thank you. And... <laughs> Also, let me introduce to another guest on the show, Lucho. How are you doing? Uh, someone who is from Costa Rica. I am glad to have you on. Let me first ask you, what are some of your favorite teams? Because I am curious to know. I have never heard of any of your favorite teams, so this is going to be very interesting. So let me know what you think some of your favorite teams are going to be. Definitely. Hi, guys. Thank you, everybody. Um, well. First of all, I'm I'm excited. You know, we're close to 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 the World Cup. You know, we're very very close, and our national teams, well, um, they will do the best. You know, it's going to be a very difficult group, yeah. and 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 you know that's what I can see. Every game for the World Cup is a difficult game. There is no easy games, and what I can see is Costa Rica and um, the, the mentality of the of the national team of Costa Rica is very very high it's yeah. very very high and and well my favorite team in, in internally here in Costa Rica or or in the world um, because you I can have, say both you can say both I, I have like three to be honest okay no <laughs> go ahead go ahead let me know well in my country here in Liga Deportiva La Juelense, this is a um, uh, team from Alajuela, that's the, the, the city, from one of the part of the Costa Rica. Um, uh, that team has 29 titles in, oh. in, internally on the just without international cups, just internally. Yeah. But uh, our, you know, the 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 the, <laughs> the next one, you know, is the Sorpresa. They 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 are the champions already. They have twenty. They have a, we have thirty champions. I'm sorry, and they have thirty seven with this one. They they just finished wow. to to get away into the the last tournament. Hey, congratulations to them. But yeah, nice. <laughs> um, and in the world of Real Madrid, I'm very fan of the Real Madrid yeah. from Figo, Sisu, from those legend, legendaries Real Madrid. Um, and also I love Boca Juniors from Argentina. I'm very fan from. From Boca, okay. I love Boca Juniors too. And well, nice to meet you guys. Oh, nice to meet you too. So you just hey. uh, just love watching football. I mean, I love that. Uh, so you watch it over there in Costa Rica, and then you watch it in Spain. We love and... here the football. We the people. I mean, if you ask to the childrens, I mean, the ninety percent of the children, so the, the even though the, the gender, I mean, male, female, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, the ninety percent or ninety five, I can say that, or I can assure you that. They can say, I want to be a football player like Keylor Navas or Brian Ruiz. That's good. what they can say most likely. So football here is everything. That is good to hear. And that is what it is to us on the show. Football is everything. Okay. Well, everybody, thank you for joining on the show. And let us first just ask some questions first. Emilio, let me ask you first. For Group E, who do you think, what did you first think when this group came out? Is Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, and Japan? What did you first think when this group was together? I think it's going to be tough because because what one of the things that I'm going to be looking for is Spain and Germany. I don't know if it's going to be a, a, a tough one, but I know it's going to be a good game. Uh, also, I think Japan might have a chance if Germany doesn't fumble like they did in 2018. 
Oh, that was a good. Uh, but also, but also, I'm curious to see how Costa Rica do they in are, uh, in group in Group E. Yeah, definitely, they are underdogs. So this, and they do have the fight for it. So I can definitely see that. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me ask now, uh, Jesse. What do you think about when Group E was first released? You know, Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, Japan. What was your first thoughts on, you know, Germany going up going against these teams? Yeah, um, as Emily already mentioned, we're coming from the 2018 World Cup, and yeah, I mean, it's it can only get better. And when I first <laughs> saw the group, um, yeah, because I don't really know about Costa Rican and Japan uh, Japanese football, I have to be honest. Yeah. Um, I just know some of the players. For example, I think Itakura um, is playing for Japan. He's also playing for Mönchengladbach. That's why I know him. And um, yeah, so of course, Spain, uh, always a nice opponent to play against. Hard games, always. But yeah, I'm pretty pretty optimistic about this. Okay, great. Thank you. And then also, last but not least, um, Lucho, what do you think about the Costa Rica team. Do you think, what did you first think when the group came out? You know, you're going up against Spain and Germany. Those are some giants of football. But this Costa Rican team is definitely has something special for them. So what did you first think when this group came out first? And, and, and we have something in 2014. I mean, it was a long time ago. We know that. Yeah. But we made history on that on that World Cup, right? And why is it going to happen again? So, and, and that's the mentality of the national team. Costa Rica, they, they know that we can do it. I mean, they already know that it's, it's possible to do it because we already made this, even though that's not in the same players. Of course, we know that. Mm-hmm. And, and there is some younger players. I mean, we have a Jewison Bennett, 19 years only. He is on the Sutherland already playing in Inglaterra, in England. Ooh, nice, and yeah. he, he, you can find Jewison Bennett is, uh, is, is, is a surprise. He's going to be a good guy. He's left, he's very fast. And normally he's go to the, to the right side. Like, you know, if he's left, if that's his touch. And well, uh, I know something about Japan as well. I know that Japan is not going to be easy as well. Uh, of course, if you can see the top Spain and Germany, that is like like how it's supposed to be logically or one of the most of the people they can think and, and it, yeah. it's fine. It's fine for us. It's fine to to play without any pressure, you know, uh, play uh, as we don't have nothing to lose and too much to win. Right. So exactly. that will be better to, like to play that. on that on that on that profile. And that's what we prefer. Like in 2014, I mean. We remember on Russian last World Cup, and it wasn't okay, but it wasn't the, not the same guys, you know. And also the the, the coach, uh, it wasn't a different coach. And now I know a lot of Luis Fernando Suarez, uh, Colombian, and who that will be the third Mundial or the third World Cup that is going to participate. Is oh. he, he got experience? Okay. Um, he was from a, a from Ecuador. His first Mo- World Cup. And then with Honduras in Brazil, 2014, and now with Costa Rica. So he know what he's doing. Okay, um, good. And well, Germany, you know, is power. <laughs> That's what yeah. I can say. The same as Spain, you know, youngest as well. I mean, Pedri, Gavi, and those guys are even though 20 years as well. So we know that also the experience is going to be very important. And that's the reason why Brian Reese is there, right? We know that Brian Reese is not going to be, or he's not going to start in the beginning, but um, he 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 is going to afford a lot of his experience. That's what we believe. He's going to play probably the last fifteen minutes of each game, pretty much. Okay, that's good. That's what they need, and especially for teams to not expect. Because when you're going like Spain, is probably they're worried about playing Germany, but they're not worried about playing Costa Rica, which is good because then. Costa Rican can have the mentality to think that they can beat anybody. So that's mm-hmm. exactly what everybody wants to see for Costa Rica. So I'm very excited to see that. I am very excited. All right. Me too. Well, <laughs> yeah. For now, let us move on to the first team in Group E, which is España or Spain. And let me first list the World Cup squad. And I, uh, I am not very fluent in Spanish, so... <laughs> so first the goalkeepers David Reina Real from Brentford then Robert Sanchez from Brighton Unai Simeon from Athletic Bilbao then Jordi Alba from Barcelona then Hugo 
uh, Julia Mon from Valencia, then Cesar Aspilicueta from Chelsea in England, then Dani Carvajal from Real Madrid in Spain, then Eric Garcia from Barcelona in Spain, then Jose Gaia from Valencia in Spain, then Almeric Laporte from Manchester City in England, who is actually French, but he did switch his nationality to Spain. And now, Pau Torres from Villarreal in Spain. Then Sergio Busquets from Barcelona in Spain. And Gavi in Barcelona in Spain as well, too. Then Coque from Atletico Madrid in Spain. Then Marcus Lorente from Atletico Madrid in Spain as well. Then Pedri from uh, Barcelona in Spain. And then Radri from Manchester City in England. And then Carlos Soyer from PSG in France. Great player now. Dani Almo from RB Leipzig in Germany, then Marcos Essentio, the forwards in Real Madrid in Spain, Antu Fati, another Barcelona player in Spain, then Alvaro Morata from Atletico Madrid in Spain, then Jeremy Pino from Villarreal in Spain, then Ferran Torres from Barcelona in Spain again, Nico Williams from Atletico Bilbao in Spain, and then Pablo Sarabia from Paris Saint-Germain in France. Mm -hmm. I can breathe now. Okay, well, I'm glad I <laughs> didn't best any of the names too bad. I though. think that I just want to say something. I think that Emilio maybe can can help me with that. I uh, I think that Gaja he doesn't play, right? He's injured. Is he injured now? Oh no. <laughs> I think that Gaja Oof. he's not going to I mean I follow every team. I, I and Gaja is not going to play. I mean he got a the last trainer and also, I just saw like Karim Benzema, he's not going to yeah. play the, the, the World Cup. Did you saw that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just saw that literally like yeah. a couple minutes ago. Minutes ago, yeah, before getting the meeting, the meeting pretty much. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's not going to play. That's uh, that's the reason why I think that Luis Enrique, he got a bad day from um, Barcelona. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Benzema, he says, picks up a thigh injury. So he's supposed to miss. The, oh, oh they, boy. Yeah, Benzema is oh. out. Yeah, confirmed from yes. the from the. Uh, France's French Federation. Team. I believe he put it on Facebook and everything. Yeah, that is they not good. That. that is not good for France. And also, you know for... what? But I, I was thinking that now maybe I, I know that it's a different topic, but uh, very quick. I mean, Dembele uh, and is going to play more pretty much. Dembele is very fast. He's very good. Dembele, you know. And also probably, Giroud. Giroud too. Yeah, yes, Giroud. I was gonna say Giroud. Giroud is going to play more also. Yeah. And he is doing so good this season for AC Milano. So if he carries on that form to the World Cup, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. He has experience. He knows what he's doing, you know. He's, he, he. Okay, but let's let's just wait until France uh, wins their first uh, game if they get that uh, winner's curse or not. That's true because the curse mm -hmm. of the World Cup is always the team that wins doesn't get mm -hmm. out of the group. Like Germany That's and fine. Spain – Oh, so you never know. It could happen. But this is football, so anything can happen again, too. So That's right. Anybody, do you all want to say anything about the Spanish team right here? Besides, you know, the injury of Jose Gaya? I'm I mean the team the team itself look looks looks pretty uh pretty nice. The squad I'm interested to see uh the squad the 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 um the eleven, the eleven. Uh, uh, I'm not speaking English. I can't even think straight. Wow, okay. good. what a good. Uh, I no, can't okay. wait to okay. see what, what I can't wait to see the starting eleven for Spain. Yeah, and also yeah. since Gaia is out, could they possibly bring Sergio Ramos back into? No, the no, team? no, 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 no. Uh, Luis Enrique, <laughs> he he just called Balde. He is going. Oh. He's, he's nineteen years. Yeah, also, I know. From That's Barcelona. I don't know maybe maybe Milo can follow me well um but I believe that Luis Enrique he's getting a lot of people from Barcelona I know but I mean why not Sergio Ramos I mean I don't think that he can you know help with experience I mean he's oh, yeah. a very good player I mean and uh what's his name David de Gea as well too and Thiago Alcantar from Thiago uh, Alcantara oh my yeah. god that's, there's that's some so players weird that... sometimes well I don't know I mean <laughs> It's okay, but yeah, I'm excited to see what Spain can do, especially with how young their team is as well, too. So, okay, well, now let us move on to our next team, which is, of course, the Dark Horse, Costa Rica. So let me first list the names of the World Cup of the squad. 
and I'm probably going to get some of these wrong, but hey, it's okay. It's you okay. Can, Lucho, you can help me with these. If I get it wrong, say no. Definitely. No problem. <laughs> All right. So the goalkeepers, Esteban Alvarado from Herediano. No, Herediano. Herediano. Correct. Herediano. Okay. In Costa Rica. Then, of course, this guy that nobody knows. I don't even know him. Kelo Navas <laughs> from PSG. Just a, a new player. <laughs> Three champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just he, he casually has a lot of trophies. It's okay. <laughs> then, then Patrick um, Sucuria from Cite Lugo in in España. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, Fr Francisco Calvo in uh, Konyaspor in Turkey. Nice. And then the defenders, yeah, Daniel Chacon from Colorado Rapids in the MLS. That's good. Mm -hmm. Then Oscar Duarte from Al Vajeda in. Is this Kazakhstan or where is this one? Oh, I don't know. If final round, I think that is going to be in Kazakhstan. I'm not 100% sure, but okay. he went out from Levante. He was in Levante before in Spain. And from Levante, he you know he got a good offer economically, of course, and he went yep. to there. Okay, well, that's good for him. At least he has the money now. <laughs> so <laughs> now um, it is who else is now? It is a. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, Kieshia Fuller, Fuller from, um, ah, I'm going to say this one again, Herediano from Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then Carlos Martinez from San Carlos in Costa Rica as well, too. Then uh, Ronald Mar oh, Matarita. Marati yeah. Oh, okay. Matarita. <laughs> Matarita, okay, from FC Cincinnati in the MLS. Then Brian Oviedo from Real Salt Lake in MLS. Then... Oh, Juan Pablo Vargas from Millonarios. Oh, Millonarios from Millonarios Colombia. from Colombia. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And then Kendall Watts, uh, Watson. 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 Yeah. From... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, Watson. Yeah. From San Prisa. It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying. Then um, Brandon yeah. Ajuera from Nottingham Forest. Oh, nice. Premier League. Wow. Good for him. And then um. Juason uh, Benet from Sunderland, another great, great player too. Then Celso Borges from, oh no, Ale, oh, Ale Juan Alajuelense. That's my team that, that I mentioned before. That's my team, yeah. Alajuelense. Okay. Alajuelense, okay. Then Anthony Hernandez from Punta Narense. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Costa Rica, and then Doug. Douglas Lopez from uh, I, I, Herediano. <laughs> 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 Every time. Then Brian Ruiz from Aloense from mm -hmm. Costa Rica. Then Justin Salas from Samprisa in Costa Rica. And then Justin Tijada from uh, Herediano. Yep, I just already said that one. There's so many players from Herediano. Okay. That's right. Then uh, Derson Torres from Herediano. And then now, there's still midfielders. Um, Ruan Wilson from Grecia, from Costa Rica. Is that Grecia? Correct. Okay, okay. Then Alvaro Zamora from Samprisa in Costa Rica. Then the forwards now, Joel Campbell from Club Leon in Mexico. And then Anthony um, Contreras from Herediano in Costa Rica. And then the last forward, Johan uh, Venagas from La Juense. So, that is the Costa Rican squad. Now, Lucho, let me ask you some questions. I mean, this is just one question, I guess. So, how? what were your first thoughts on when they released this squad for the World Cup? Did you think there were any players that deserved to be on the team that weren't there? Or did you think there was any players that are on the team right now that don't deserve it? So, <laughs> you know what? This is a, a actually um, when Luis Fernando Suarez he sent the the list, right? And yeah. um, there is one particular name, very very uh, questionable for people around it. I mean, Johan Venegas from Alajuelense. Uh, he's not having a good time actually. He's coming, he's having more than two hundred, more than three hundred minutes without any goal in playing. And um, he's not the best, but in the past, um, you know, Luis Fernando Suarez, he, he got the trust. He trusts him. And actually, um, on the interview, some people ask him, why Johan Venegas? <laughs> yeah. And Luis Fernando Suarez said that 
uh, is because I want to. That's what he said. Believe me, that's the answer. Because I want to, because I trust him and I know that what he can do. And to be honest, in my opinion, uh, I, um, I think that he doesn't he don't deserve to, to go, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, Luis Fernando knows what he's doing. And he already know, only he knows, believe me. I mean, and more people in Costa Rica, when you talking about it, we need to support him. That probably he's going to score in the, in the World Cup and he's going to silence everybody. Um, we don't know. But um, probably Costa Rica, I mean, it's not your question. It's not a question, but uh, it's going to uh, wait. You know, we know that Spain is going to talk, I mean, take the ball. He's going to take the ball and we're going to wait for that because if in that will be the smart way that we can, you know, get something. Wait, and the lines pretty much is going to be at, at Navas, Alvarado, I mean, Navas, uh, Kendall Weston, um, most likely Oscar Duarte, Francisco Calvo, Caleb Full, uh, Fuller for, for the right, for the left, Manta Rita, Celso Tejeda, probably Joey Campbell, and uh, Jefferson Bennett, and only one that is going to be pretty much uh, Contreras. Most likely it's going to be the lineup that he's going to, uh, has been using before Lee Fernando and also before with New Zealand. Um, and he, the, the, we know that we, we, we don't, we, the, the best or is to, to wait, take the ball and moving forward very fast because we got some guys that is going to, to run a lot. And, and we know that Germany and sometimes for Spain is going to, to cause some issues, you know? Yeah. But pretty much that's um, what I, <laughs> I know that I gave you more <laughs> that no, you no, asked me, good. but, that's good. but yeah, that will be only one Johan pretty much. And, um, that is, and he was so, so, so critical in the news interviews everywhere, but let's hope that he's going to, to take a good, good job. I don't know if he's going to play or not, but I can guarantee you that most likely Anthony Contreras is going to be the number nine. And Joel Campbell, like before him, you know, like taking the ball, you know, how is Joel Campbell is very fast and got a good left and it's going to, you know, put, put something over there and we all, I mean, we say cuidado, like be careful with Kendall Weston. He's going to play very well in, in, in the, on the air, on the air. I mean, it's, it's, um, um, I don't know, almost 200 meters and pretty much, I mean, it's very, very high, big, yeah. pretty much tall. Okay, well, I mean, do I even have to ask you, like, who... The second question is, what player do you think is going to be the most dangerous or the best for Costa Rica? Or players, I can say. Joel Campbell, definitely. The, okay. Joel Campbell definitely is going to be... Um, and, and also, Jewison Bennett. We know also that Brandon Aguilera um, he is going to be the new 10. He's going to take the place from Brian Reeves. Probably he's going to play as, as well. But I believe that uh, Jewison Bennett between Joel Campbell, pretty much. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. And then and, um... and also I forget it. And oh, yeah. Ken, and Keller now is pretty much. He's oh going to yeah, be, of course. He, he's going yeah. to be actually in the most one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. So my final question for you: What place do you think Costa Rica will get in this group? Uh, that means that we're going to take one of the biggest ones, you know? Yeah. And that, that's not going to be easy. That's going to be complicated a lot. It's happened before. <clears throat> well, I, I think that this first game against Spain is going to be a surprise because we're going to, to, to play smart. That will be the, like, the key. Play smart. Yeah. Give the ball, take the ball, and, and we're going to to wait you. <laughs> so yeah. um I think that we're going to find for this second place. I, I don't know who which one who uh, Germany or Spain, but I think that one of them is going to fall. I don't know which one to be honest. Yeah. But I, we're I, going I... to fall, we're going to take the second place. That's what, what we get because uh, I mean if I <laughs> I wish a lot of things. I would like to get the first place, but you know I'm I'm thinking the second one is going to be our option. And and also to take like a, a, a advantage from Japan, right? That is not playing well. I mean, I follow her Japan like three months ago, and people in Japan are very upset, you know, for the list. Yeah. 
that's a good question. And now that you mentioned that, there is a lot of players that doesn't deserve for Japan, and the people are upset with the list, and they don't play well. Uh, uh, as far as I know, the, the last three games, um, he they they fast, but they 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 don't play like you know five ten pass. They don't do it. You know they 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 cross the ball around it and. I don't know. I don't see like too many ideas for the for that team for Japan. Yeah, it's very fast. I mean, we know that Japan is going to be a fast team, but I think that he's not like the, the good time for Japan. You know, and they say that it's going to be. It's not like the same Spain that you know. And they say that it's not the same Germany. But by the end, you know, they they are very big players. You know. Yeah, of course. And anything can be happening by the end. Eleven against eleven. Okay. Well, yeah. Thank you for your thoughts on Costa Rica. But yeah, we'll, we'll get your predictions in a little bit. I'm excited to see that. So now let us move on to Germany or Deutschland. Let me just list the World Cup squads, the Germany World Cup squad right now, really fast too. Now for the goalkeepers. Of course, Manuel Neuer from Bayern München in Germany. Mark Ander Tristegen from Barcelona in Spain. Kevin Trapp in Eintracht Frankfurt in Germany. Then the defenders, Amel Bella Kochap from Southampton in England. Then Matthias Ginter from Etze Freiburg in Germany. Then Christian Gunter from Freiburg in Germany. And then Dilo Kerr Ker, Ker, <laughs> from West Ham in England. Then Lucas Kostermann from Leipzig in Germany. Then David Rom from Leipzig in Germany, then Antonio Rudiger from Real Madrid in Spain, then Nico Schlotterbach from Borussia Dortmund in Germany, then Nicolas Schule from Borussia Dortmund in Germany, then Julian Brandt, oh, where is he from? Oh, yeah, Borussia Dortmund in Germany, then Leon Goretzka, or as Müller says it, Skoretzka in Bayern München in, in Germany, then Ilkay Gundogan from Manchester City in in, in uh, Manchester City in England, I said that twice. Mario Goethe <laughs> from Antwerp Frankfurt in Germany. Then Jonas Hoffmann from Bayern München Gladbach from Germany. Then Joshua Kimmich from Bayern München in Germany. Then Jamal Musiala from Bayern München in Germany. Then Yusofo Mokoko from Bayer Borussia Dortmund in Germany. Karim Adeyemi from Borussia Dortmund in Germany. Then Nico Nicolas I said it wrong. From Werder Bremen in Germany. Then Serge Gnabry from Bayern München in Germany. And Kai Havertz from Chelsea FC in England. And then the last two forwards, Thomas Müller from Bayern München in Germany. And then the last, Leroy Sané from Bayern München in Germany. Now I can breathe. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so, Jesse, <laughs> what were your first thoughts on this squad that was released and do you think there's anyone that deserves to be here that are not there and so or anyone that's on here that does not deserve there to be here so let me know what um, you got to say yeah so overall i can say um i'm pretty happy with the squad and um yeah almost everybody deserves to be there or like everybody deserves to be there but for example um lucas Klosterman and ahmed belakarchap they have had um, some injury problems in the last time uh, or during the last weeks. And um, yeah, it's it's a kind of surprise how well they're going to be integrated into the games and uh, how well they're going to come back from these injuries. But um, Hansi Flick, the coach, currently says that there are no doubts at all and um, yeah, about their health so that they're going to be at a 100% for the World Cup. Um, but um, as you might have seen, there's those are both defenders. And uh, I mean, this is probably subject to my personal opinion because um, I thought that maybe Robin Gosens would have had, uh, would have been a good choice. Uh, he has been playing very well in the last, uh, in the European Cup. And, um, but uh, yeah. He is a left back, and that's probably also one reason why he's not there, because he has a very uh, good competition with David Ramos, 
who has been who has had a very good season last season and um, is now starting as he went from Hoffenheim to Leipzig. It's now starting to pick up at Leipzig too. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So, do you think? Um, I was actually going to curious to ask you. Do you think Mario Götze deserves to be there? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah. yeah, he is playing a very good season. Came back. I mean, he is go- always going to be a German legend for oh, yeah. scoring the goal in 2014. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I mean that. I think that kind of helps him. But uh, he's now coming back after five years of not playing with a German squad, yeah. and um, this is due to his very good form at uh, Eintracht Frankfurt uh, because Eintracht Frankfurt is playing a very uh, are playing a very good season. And oh, yeah. a big part of that is Mario Götze. Very true. Okay, now the second question I have for you. Who do you think is the most dangerous or, I say, the best players for Germany right now? It could be a player or players, so whichever one you want to say. Yeah, I'm going to name two players, and um, or actually three. Um, starting with uh, Joshua Kimmich, who probably everybody knows. Uh, he's been he is a very important person just to yeah determine the speed of the game and um, he's a very good leader and will be very important for Germany's mentality too because he's very eager to win always in every situation and he will yeah he has just just has this winning mentality um, that is needed to play in such a game or in such games. Um, then um, yeah, like the next player or the next two players actually are gonna be Yusuf Mukoko and uh, Niklas Füllkrug. Um, I think they are kind of the piece of the puzzle that is missing in Germany or that has been missing in the last years. They are just um, forwards, and especially uh, Niklas Füllkrug is like the classic number nine, I would say and uh, it's just a striker that you can just put in front and then uh, yeah give him crosses etc put him in situations where he just has to finish in front of the goal and he will score goals he is currently playing a very good season with uh, Vera Brim who are not really good of a team but he still is um, the number one goal scorer in the Bundesliga at the moment and um, wow. Yusuf Mokoko of course is with Borussia Dortmund a better team they're currently in fourth place I think or fifth in the Bundesliga and um, yeah they are feeding him but he also has scored very nice goals and uh, it has just improved a lot compared to last season where he first got uh, promoted to the first team of Borussia Dortmund. Okay. And um, yeah, I forgot to tell you about the, there's going to be fifth player, uh, which is uh, Jamal Muziela, which I'm very oh, excited yeah. to see yeah, playing yeah. in the, this World Cup. He's an exciting player, exciting young player, um, not typically, not playing like the typical, typical German style because that would be um, just defense I would say and a simple passing game uh, he's a very uh, skilled player when it comes to his technique he can uh, yeah dribble past many players and uh, has showed his current form uh, with Bayern Munich where he scored a lot of gold and yeah I'm pretty excited to see him play okay well that's great for that and then final question for you is how well do you think Germany is going to do in the group? Do you think they'll get first, second, third, fourth? Because, I don't know. Last time, it was, you know, the heartbreak for all Germany fans by getting out. But that's just the curse, of course. So, it has to... Yeah, 100%. Um, it definitely was a heartbreak uh, for every soccer fan or uh, football fan in Germany. Um, yeah. Um, as I told you in the beginning, I'm pretty optimistic about this, so I'm going to say we're going to go first in the group. Okay, good confidence, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay well... Um, I guess, I yeah, I just got confidence in Hansi Flick and uh, the way he builds teams. Hmm. Can only hope so. Can really hold me hope so, since today you do have the coach. Okay, well, we do a little segment here at the Golden Goal Show, and we like to learn about multiple languages. So we've already done for Spanish in another episode, but football, this is how you say it in English. 
football. If that's it's English and it's easy. And and then in German it is Fußball. Yes, let's 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 Fußball. That's amazing. And if you want to say um I kicked the football and let's just say at the window you can say Ich habe den Fußball gegen das Fenster getreten. Yeah, and, and then if you want to also include, and now the police is after me. This is why you say it in German. Ich habe den Fußball gegen das Fenster getreten und jetzt ist die Polizei hinter mir her. There we go. How do you think of, what do you think of that, that German, Jesse? Perfect, perfect German. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You speak, <laughs> you speak German so well. I Thank you. That's that's me. That's I'm speaking that. I'm gonna, yeah, but know, in English is translated too. I kicked the football oh. in the window, and now the police is after me. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, if the police catches you, you're gonna you're 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 definitely gonna make a little noise, and you're gonna go like this. Oh no no no! no. Let's, let's 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 hear it again. Let's it's it, the police is gonna catch you, and you're gonna go like. Hey, That's exactly what you're going to say, God. And then German, I don't know about that one. <laughs> and in German, you're going to go like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, it's still going. It's what the... It, it's, that sounds like you're in a massage chair. What are you doing? It sounds like you're in a loop. That, um, that's... <laughs> I guess that's what Google thinks that you scream in German. Like, what? I... Uh. Hey. All right, well, that's, yeah, let's go now to, Germ to, to Japan now, because yeah. I don't think Google Translate likes that. But okay, so for Japan, <laughs> Japan, Japanese World Cup squad, the goalkeeper. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Um, Eji Kawawashima from Strasbourg in France. Then another goalkeeper, Sushi. Gonda from Shimizu Polus in Japan, and Daniel Schmidt from Saint Trudin in Belgium, then Yuto Nagatomo from Tokyo in Japan, and then another defender, Maya Yoshida from Schalke in Germany, then Hiroko Saki, Sakai from Uruana Red Diamonds in Japan, and then Tiriyama Tamiyasu from Arsenal in England, then Miki Yamine from Kawasaki Frontal in Japan, then Shogo Taniguchi from Kawatsa Frontal in Japan, and then Ko uh, Itakuru, Itakura from Borussia Mönchengladbach in Germany, then Hiroki Ito from Stuttgart in Germany, then Gaku Shibasaki from Lingan, Ling, Ling, Liganes from Hispania in Spain, then Watoro Endo from Stuttgart, then uh, Tuku, Takumi uh, Minamino from Monaco in France, then Junio Ito from Rheim in France, then uh, Ritsu Doan from Freiburg in Germany, and then Daichi Kamada from Antrach Frankfurt in Germany. Excited. Then also the midfielders. Takefuso Kubo from Real Sociedad in Spain, and then another midfielder, Hidemisa, no, Hidemasa from Miroto in Sporting in Portugal, then another midfielder, Ayo Tanaraka from Fortuna Dusseldorf in Germany, and then Koro Mitomo from Brighton in England, great, great new player, then Yuki mm -hmm. Soma from Yagomo Granfus in Japan, and then Takamu. Asano from Bochum in Germany, the forwards, and then um, Ayase Yodo from Club Bruges in Belgium, and then Dayazan Mayada from Celtic in Scotland, and Shuto Machino from Shonan Belemare in Japan. Whew, wow, that was fun. <laughs> you need some water after this. <laughs> I have it next to me, but uh, my throat still hurts. All right. I mean, any thoughts on this? I noticed there's a lot of German players, and Jesse, can you give me any? insight about any of these players because there are a lot of Bundesliga players here and I know Japan does have a huge influence in the um, Bundesliga yeah actually um, I was going to say that all these players um, I have your respect um, I mean Maya Yoshida uh, playing with Schalke currently does not have the best time there really? but um, for, what, 
from what I can tell is that he still puts up quite a good game. And um, what I'm pretty impressed about generally is um, their midfield. Um, yeah. But Taro Endo last season, at least this season, is yeah decent, but not so good. Um, but last season, he has played a very good season with Stuttgart and they finished... Um, they were just promoted to the Bundesliga and they finished, I think, in the midfield of the Bundesliga. Yeah. Also, I also played him in my uh, fantasy soccer league because he was really good and scored and, um, yeah, very good player. And uh, this season, especially Rito Doan and Daishi Kamada are oh. playing very good. And um, they, especially Daishi Kamada um, is scoring a lot of goals and so just... Also, is contrib- as I told you before, Frankfurt is playing a very good season. Mm-hmm. Uh, part of it because of Mario Götze, but Daishi Kamada is definitely also a big part of this success. Yeah, and I agree. And also Daichi Kamada with me watching Bundesliga, I love him so yeah. much. I mean, I don't want to get married or anything, but I mean, I would. But <laughs> I do like him a lot. He is such a dangerous player for Japan. And I think him, he's going to be a very, very key point for Japan as well with distributing the ball to passing the ball to everybody. So I'm very excited for that. And also another player, a Brighton player who plays right now is Kuraho Mitomo, who's a great, great player. If you've been watching the Premier League, he's been a, doing a great job for them as well too. So, And of course, uh, Tamiyasu for Arsenal, maybe not the best players starting for them, but he is still a really good player for them. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very interesting squad to say the least so i'm excited to see what they can do so yeah i mean that was the japanese team anybody want to say anything else about this japanese team besides i'm i mean i mean all i know from japan is is the um is the arsenal man that's yeah. the only one i know that i'm gonna be that's gonna watch yeah fair but enough. now that you said um uh about mitomo and i'm gonna watch brian just just to see how he is He's a great. He's he's been a part of their you know winning squad that has been doing very great. So, I I haven't watched Brighton recently, but um, I'm gonna start to now. Okay. Yeah. I don't I don't watch the Premier League uh, a lot, but uh, what I can add is that at least Ko Itakura from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Yeah. Um, he is coming back from injury. He's I think he played the last two match days. Um, okay. but uh, in the beginning of the season, he has been a very good center back for Borussia Mönchengladbach and help them start into the Bundesliga pretty well. Okay, nice. All right, well, now let us get into our favorite time, and that is World Cup 2022 predictions. I am very excited to see what everybody has to say. Now, who wants to go first for this? Because I know if you're excited, I'm pretty sure you would definitely want to go. So who wants to go first for this? Let me know. Anybody? <laughs> guys, 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 one at a time. <laughs> one, yeah, just one. Stop shouting. <laughs> <laughs> no, before continue, I just going to say something about Japan. Okay, it's going yeah. to be an interesting game. Uh, I mean, interesting players, uh, just to provide a feedback. Uh, watching with Kubo, I mean, I, I know who is Kubo. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, he's from Real Madrid, and, and he's a very good player. Kubo now is in Real Sociedad in Spain. But he's a very, very good player. He's just 21 years. Actually, that is the youngest one of the team. He fe- because it feels like he's been there forever. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because he started just like 17 with Real Madrid. I mean, he's got experience only with 21. I mean, and and also if they go for experience, definitely. With Yuto Nagatomo, I mean, it's Inter Milan. Uh, it's Manchester United. He's uh, uh, only experience. Also with Maya Yoshida from Chalco. So it's also very experienced. Also, we can see that uh, they continue uh, also with uh, continue with experience uh, that, they, for example, Endo as well. Yeah. And so they it's a combination, but um, more experience that, you know, that uh, little bit, let's say, like youngest players. The only one I think so is just cool, 21 years after that. Uh, so yeah. they, they, they go more in that. Yes, they but do. it's going to be interesting and complicated. I mean, Japan is, is going to be, I mean, every game of the, of the World Cup but it's going to be a, a complicated game. I mean, it's not going to yeah. be easy. There's a reason all these teams are in here because they tried the hardest right. to get in. So it makes that's sense. Right. <laughs> okay. 
except guitar. All right. Well, now for the first, uh, who wants to go for the first one? S- someone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Okay. What do you want your name to be for this? You can make up anything. Any name? Any name? <laughs> you want that? Okay. Any name? <laughs> Let's say. Okay. okay, cool. Any name. So, any name. <laughs> what do you want for a, guitar, for a group A? Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, Netherlands. Who do you think is going to be first and who do you think is going to be second place? Okay, well, the first one I think that is going to be in Netherlands, definitely. Okay. Uh, I think I, I follow Netherlands as well. Got a good team, very good team. No. Yeah. Second, Ecuador, I believe. Ecuador? Okay, yeah. nice. Ecuador. All right. They and now... Play... Go ahead. No, 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 you can, you can go. No, no, Ecuador, I mean, he's... I mean, I, I, I always watch South America uh, qualifiers, especially yeah. Messi and, you know, Brazil, but Ecuador, uh, it, it was a... I mean, it's going to be a, a surprise. B, who are you going to say? England, Iran, United States, and Wales. Who do you think is going to be first and who do you think is going to be second? I will first for England. Okay. And I will uh, support, you know, CONCACAF area. So I will okay. support USA. Okay. Wow. Okay. Nice. The LeBron James of soccer, Christian Pulisic. I like that. That's All right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Group C, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. What are you going to say for this one? Who's going to be first and who's going to be second? Uh, Argentina, definitely. Okay, first, yeah. I think so. 36 games in a row without any loss. That's Argentina. True. The Scaloneta, they say. Oh, I hope. I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> and who do you think is going to be second? Um, it's going to be between Mexico and Poland, you know. Um, I will say I think that Poland is going to be in the second one. Okay. You, you think Poland? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Zielinski, Lewandowski. I mean, Lewandowski. it's a good... It's, it's yeah. not Zielinski. Piotr Zielinski from Napoli is a very, very good player. Okay. All right. Now, for Group D, France, Denmark, Australia, and Tunisia. What are you saying for this one? I will select France. Okay. And Denmark. Denmark? Okay. Nice. Christian Erickson. Erickson. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got All it. Right. Group E: Spain, Germany, Costa Rica, and Japan. What are you gonna say for this Ooh. first second? God help me. Well, <laughs> we, all we all need it. I, help me to dream. So, yeah. let's dream. You know, I mean, I'll I will say first Germany. Okay. Okay. And Costa Rica. Okay. okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Now for Group F: Belgium. Morocco, Canada, Croatia. What are you saying for this one? Let's go to Romelu Lukaku and okay. company. Nice, yeah. <laughs> and let's. Mm, I, 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 I know that Croatia. I mean, it's you know Modric and all those guys, but mm-hmm. why not Canada? Yeah, you want to say Canada? They have a good yeah. young squad. This is Davis. the first time they have made the World Cup in 36 years. That's a good. That's yeah. right. Okay. Anthony so, Davis. I mean, Davis is very oh, good. Oh yeah, Davis, the roadrunner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, now, Group G: Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. What are you gonna say for this one? Brazil. Brazil first. Okay. Yeah. First. Yeah. And it's um, a good second place match. I will take the Serbia will be the second one. Okay. Yeah, with Mitrovic. He's a beast. Okay. Now, group H. Portugal, Uruguay, Ghana, and South Korea. Okay. Well, Cristiano and company, first place, I think. Oh, you think Portugal? Portugal, yeah. Okay. okay. Cristiano. And, and I think that uh, Uruguay, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think so. All right, so you think Mr. Zhu is going to be first place. I like that. Nice. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, for Group A, is going to be the first 
round of 16, Netherlands versus United States of America. What do you think? Who's going to win that? Netherlands. Netherlands? Okay. Fair yeah. enough. That is, yeah. I didn't expect anything else. <laughs> and now, England versus Ecuador. What do you think for that one? Oof. Will be a good game. Yeah, we... um, England. England? Okay. It's coming yeah. home. Debbie maybe. Beckham. <laughs> David Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can come out of retirement, honestly. Why not? <laughs> One more game. <laughs> One more game. The last dance. <laughs> yeah, they, he needs to dance a lot more for that. All right. Now, Definitely. Argentina versus Denmark. Who do you think is going to win that? <laughs> Argentina, who? In Denmark. Um, Argentina. Okay. Yeah. That's a... yeah, easy. Messi. Yeah. Messi company. Oh, yeah. And then now, France. And Poland. What are you saying for this one? Uh, France. Okay, France, yeah. Yeah, even though Benzema is not there, also yeah. Kante. And, and, well, and, and then Kuku. But, yeah, uh, but they continue good, 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 good thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, now for Germany versus Canada. Who do you think for this one? Oof, Germany. Okay, Germany. All right, now for Belgium. And Costa Rica, what do you think is going to happen? Well, let's go for Costa Rica. Okay, Costa Rica. I like that. Nice. All right, so Costa Rica there. Now for Brazil versus Uruguay. A great, great game. In South Oof, America. it's a classic game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oof, let's say Brazil. Brazil. All right. Vai Brazil. All right. Now for Portugal versus Serbia. Oh, a... See, Portugal. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now for your quarterfinals, it's going to be Netherlands versus Argentina. Who do you think is going to win that? Oof. Yeah. Again, Argentina, like in 2014. Okay. Argentina to do it through. All right. Now it is England versus France. What do you think is going to be for this one? England will be the surprise. Okay, you think England? Okay, it's coming England. home. Yeah, coming home, France. <laughs> They're going home. All right, now <laughs> for um, Germany versus... Ooh. Wait, Serbia. Yeah, Germany versus Serbia. Germany and Serbia. Germany? Okay, Germany. All right, and now... Wait, did I say that wrong? Yeah, I did say that wrong. Yeah, I did say that wrong. All right, yeah, yeah. so... Yeah. Germany versus Brazil. Who do you think for Germany versus Oof. Brazil? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's going to be 7-1, seven 7-2. To seven to wow. It's, cool. it's, it's like a final, you know, but oh, yeah. um, in, a, in a band. Wow. Let's say Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Nice. Brazil. They took their revenge since, since the yes. 2014. It's, it's... Oh, they yeah. will take Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Now, also for this one, Germany. Well, no, Costa Rica versus Mr. Sul. What are you going to say for this one? Portugal or Costa Rica? Oof. With oh, all my wish, uh, let's say Portugal. Yeah. Oh, you're saying Portugal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Costa Rica? No, no Costa Rica. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had a good run. They had a good run. I mean, if they, if uh, they can get I, to the I, quarterfinal, I, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that will, that will, that will, that, that was good. And I, I'm glad, you know, but um, by the end, I, I try to be, you know, focused on, <laughs> um, you know, I mean, could be happen like anything, you know, but that's true. yeah, I, yeah um, Portugal is the Leao is a very good player. They got a very good national team in Portugal. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah. Now for your semifinals, the first one, it is Argentina. Versus Brazil. What do you think for this one? Who is going to take? Oh. I would say Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Brazil. It is. All right. Now, for your second semifinal, it is England versus Portugal. What do you think? <laughs> England. England. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. England. All right. Now, for Brazil and England in the World Cup final. For 2022, who do you think is gonna take this one to home? I think that they's going to take is is the time for Latin America to back the the World Cup. Okay. So I think that Latin America means Brazil. 
Brazil to win the World Cup. And what do you think is going to be the score of the game, if you could guess? It uh, will be 2-0. Uh, I can say that can score Anthony. And, Anthony. Uh, definitely. Uh, okay. Well, and uh, also Vinicius. Okay, great, great. Okay, well, any name, Lucho. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for your prediction for this. All right, great. Now, let us move on to Jesse. Your World Cup final predictions. I am excited to see this. And let us just start up with what do you want your name to be? And anything. Just put it Jesse. Okay, so just put Jesse. All right. You got to be careful with what you say. <laughs> okay, so for Group A, it is Qatar, Senegal, Ecuador, Netherlands. Who's going to be first? Who's going to be second? Uh, I think it's definitely going to be Netherlands in the first place. Okay, nice. And then although Sadi Mane is not joining, I will see uh, Senegal in the second place. Okay, good shout. Nice, yeah. Yeah, that's I'm, I was gutted absolutely by Senegal. So sad. All right. Now, Group B, England, Iran, United States, Wales. Who do you think is first? Who do you think is second? Um, England's got a great squad, so I think they're going to be take the first place. Okay, nice. And um, I think I have to agree with Emilio that uh, with, uh, him that the United States are going to take the second place. Okay, nice. With the LeBron James of soccer, Christian Pulisic. <laughs> great. All right, Group All right. C. <laughs> Argentina. Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Who do you think is going to be first? Who do you think is going to be second? Um, Argentina is going to take the first place, in okay, my opinion. Nice. And I'm hoping that uh, Poland with Lewandowski can take uh, the second place, just All for right. the stakes of Lewandowski. Yeah, Lewandowski, you mean. <laughs> uh, that's not funny. All right, Group D. France, Denmark, Australia, Tunisia. What do you think for a second? Looking at history, France shouldn't make it out of the group stage. Um, but I think in that group, they're definitely going to go with the first place, okay. uh, followed by Denmark. All right. The World Cup curse is going to be broken, hopefully. You never know. Yeah. Uh, group E, <laughs> Spain, Germany, Costa Rica, and Japan. What do you think is going to happen? First, second place for this? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh I'm pretty optimistic, so I'm going to say Germany in the first place. Okay. And actually, I believe it's going to be close call between uh, Spain and Japan, but I think uh, Spain is going to take it in the end. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Anything can happen. All right, now with Group F, Belgium and Canada, Morocco, Croatia. Who do you think is going to be first and second? I think that's a pretty tough group. Um. Canada made it into the World Cup, as you said, for the first time in a long time. Yeah. Um, but I think due to the quality, Belgium is going to take first place. Okay. And um, Canada second. Because All right. I think the squad in Croatia is not good enough anymore. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that's true. They're a little old. All right. Now, Group yeah. G, Brazil, Switzerland, Serbia, Cameroon. What do you think? <sighs> Definitely gonna be Brazil in first place. Okay. And oh, it's also tough for the second place, uh, yeah. or for the rest of the stands. But I'm gonna have to agree with any name, and let's say uh, Serbia in second place. Serbia second place. Okay. <laughs> you said you agree with any name. <laughs> yes. Good one. Good one. All right. Now for Guri H, Portugal, Uruguay, Ghana, South Korea. What are you gonna say for this one? Um, I think this is pretty straight up, and Portugal is going to take first place, okay. uh, followed by Uruguay. Okay, great. All right, now, your round of 16, the first game, Netherlands versus United States. Who do you think is going to take this one home? Ah, the Netherlands, definitely. Okay, yeah. Good shout. Okay, now for this one, England versus Senegal. A great game that I'd love to see. What do you think? <laughs> Um, also here the same. I think it's going to be pretty clear for England. Okay. We got a good young squad. All right, nice. And then for this one now, Group C, Argentina versus Denmark. What do you think for this one? Um, I think it's going to be a tough game, but uh, Argentina is going to go ahead with that quality in the squad. Okay. Just the technical right. skills. Nice. All right. Now for this, France versus Poland. Oh. <laughs> 
as as much as I hope it for Levan Golski to go ahead. Uh, I think uh, France is going to take it because uh, there as uh, as I already mentioned, they're missing a few players, a few important players, but mm. they still have enough depth in their squad to take it home. Okay, that is very very true. All right, Mbappe, McPayel, nice. All right, <laughs> Group E, Germany versus. Canada, what do you think? Do you think Canada can have enough maple syrup to beat Germany? I don't think so. <laughs> I actually don't think so. Germany's going to go ahead. It's going to be a great game. But it's a good thing that Germany can pick up Fonzie on the way you know, to the final, so why not? <laughs> All right, now for the next game. Belgium versus Spain. Ooh, great, great game. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I think for this one, I'm going to go with Spain. Spain, um, okay. Yes, because I think, uh, I mean, Lukaku is not fit, we have to say that, and they have good quality, but I think it's not going to be enough for Spain. Okay, fair enough. All right, now, for this game, Brazil, Group G versus Uruguay in Group H. What do you think is going to be that one? (laughs) Nice matchup, nice matchup. Oh, yeah. Um, But I think Brazil is going to go ahead. Okay. Too much much attacking power. Yep. All right. Now for this one, Group H, Portugal versus Serbia. You think it's going to be so or going to be so? That was, that was a bad one. <laughs> I think Ronaldo uh, and the rest of Scott will take it. Okay. Nice. So it is a so. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now for your quarterfinals, it is first Netherlands versus Argentina, who is going to take that to the semifinal? Uh, it's tougher. Um, but I think the Netherlands have a great squad, so they're going to take it. Okay. Ah, that's the first time I heard that. I like that. Nice. Okay. Great. Now, for this, it is England versus France. Who do you think is going to take this one home? That is a very good question. Um I just hope that England can put their team together. They have a great team, and uh, I think they're going to beat France. Okay, it's coming home, or maybe just to the chicken shop for something. But okay, <laughs> Group E, it is Germany, <laughs> Deutschland, und, and Brazil. Oh, I'm sure you have very good memories of this game. Yes, yes. Uh, um, very good. I uh, my fir- first beer after that game, I think. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Poor Brazil. Poor Brazil. Yes, yes. And I think we're going to have to beat them again. Okay. So Germany to the semifinal. Nice. All right. Now for Portugal. For Mr. Sui. Mr. Uh, Port- oh, my gosh. Mr. Ronaldo and Mr. <laughs> Portugal. I, I don't know what I'm saying. And Spain. So it is Portugal versus Spain. Yes. Who do you think is going to win that one? <sighs> great. Great matchup. Oh. Um, but it's going to be the end for Cristiano in the World Cup. Okay, so Spain to the final. Yes. All right, sure. now, Jesse, or just put Jesse, what do you think <laughs> is going to be in the final between Netherlands and Germany? Who thinks is going to win that one? It's going to be very tough. Very tough yeah. lineup. A very tough, tough matchup. It's a true classical. Germany against the Netherlands, but of course I have to go with Germany there. All right, so Germany through the final, lovely stuff, and then of course the other semifinal. It is England versus the Spain, the the Spain, yeah, Spain. Spain. <laughs> this is Spain. Uh, England versus um, Spain. Ooh. Yeah, they both have great squads, great young squads, and. Here I'm just gonna go with the like the coaching system, and I'm gonna say that England is gonna lose. So this ah. is gonna be a matchup again, again Germany against Spain. Spain, ooh, okay, nice. Has this ever happened before? This final? I don't think this final has ever happened. No. Okay, now the most important thing: Who do you think is gonna win the FIFA World Cup 2022 in? Qatar sponsored by nothing because I am not sponsored. Who who do you think is gonna win? <laughs> Good question. Uh, this uh, this final has happened, but in a European Cup, two thousand and twelve, I think. Ooh. Um, but or two thousand eight. I'm not sure. 
but yeah um yeah you know i have to say germany but okay no no it's gonna good. be a tough game oh not too sure so but what do you think the final score is gonna be for this if you could just guess any numbers oh it's, it's gonna be very tough it's gonna go to overtime and germany Ooh. is gonna win two to one okay i'm gonna try to put that two to one for Deutschland in Germany. All right. Well, just put Jesse. Thank you for <laughs> your predictions. I was amazing. And let You're me just share. Welcome. Yeah, that was great. And now let me share. Emilio, you already did your predictions, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, I did. And you did it. Um, well, you did it. You, did you do it? You did it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> who did you want to win? Uh, the World Cup. I think. I think it. I think this year, Messi's gonna be in his final form, like Dragon Ball Z. Uh, yeah. I I think Argentina is gonna win, and Messi Messi's finally gonna win that World Cup. Who do you think they're gonna be playing in the final? Shoot, what did what did I what did I say? I don't know. In the la- what did I say in the last one? Is it um, this? Is it this? Is this yours? Yeah, actually. Okay, great. No oh, fun. Oh. You said France in the final and Argentina to win two to one. Yeah, and I think, like I said, I think Messi is going to be in his in his like final final form for this. I think he's gonna, he, I think he's got the power, the the um, the power, yeah. the uh, the pace, and I and I and I think uh the 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 dribbling to um to carry Argentina all the way. But okay. but along with like the with the Marie and and um Los Los Celso. Los Celso? No Los Los Cel- Yeah, I'm one guy. Uh, mm-hmm. Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think Messi's gonna. I think Messi's gonna finally win the World Cup and get his first <laughs> World Cup trophy. Okay. Yeah. Hey, and do it for Maradona. Oh yeah. True. 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 And now. Well, I'm gonna show you my predictions. You're probably all gonna laugh at me, but I, it's this, but it's just, horrendous. Let me just, tell you. Just it's remember, horrendous. this is before um, Mane got out. So I believe Senegal oh. can win the final. <laughs> all right, yeah. Mane is not gonna play Mane, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, Mane's out. Mane's out. Mane's yeah, out. well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's, it's like and, you know, it's a defense amount to France. You know, saying Mane, well. Yeah. Yep. This was, but the, I did this before we found out that Mane was out. So, ah. Uh, you say Germany, Japan is going to qualify. All right. Yep. Yep. All right. yep. I I have yeah. faith in Japan, but I don't I don't know. Like mm-hmm. I said, I said yeah, Cameroon. I can, I can see that. Cameroon's gonna take first place. In the mm-hmm. Yep. I said Cameroon's gonna take first place. But uh, I mean, who is going to be England and who is the second one? Gales. Uh, yeah, Wales. Mean, Wales. Yep. Great. Okay, okay. Yeah, Yeah, golf ball is is too old. You know how it goes. Wales, golf, Madrid. That's how it goes. It's kind of old (laughs) male, but he's up, you know. Yeah, he can it will be the last chance. He was going to do it fine. He could. He would never know. It is the World Cup, so anything can happen. But obviously they yeah. Oh, I forgot to do this, guys. This is how you say football in English. Football. And in Japanese. Football. Oh, oh, oh. That, I like that. It makes me so happy. Football. Again, again. Oh, okay. You know what? I like Japanese, a happy language, maybe. Okay, let me let me just do this. I am happy to play football while I skydive. Great. Let's try this. Skydiving Oh, I am happy to play football while I skydive. Oh, and everybody, what do we say when we go skydiving? Let's just, what do you think we say? I and don't in, think I... <laughs> in the Japanese, of course it is. Ah, <laughs> bro, oh, I like that. <laughs> but if you have an even longer fall in Japanese, you go like ah. Okay, 
Yeah. That didn't sound like you're falling. That just sounds like you're heading to B sharp. <laughs> hey, why not? Leave it alone. Leave it. Yeah. And of course, and if you want to say it in um Arabic, you go like ah, 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 Oh no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. I beg you to don't. Oh don't my know. gosh. Yo, what is it? Okay. Google Translate. It's it's Google Translate. It's not me. Look, I'm pressing this button. It's saying ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. This I don't bit, know, boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to get any sponsors for this episode. I'll tell you that. It sounds like something else. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm, everybody. Uh, no, there's only going to be one sponsor. It's oh, no, 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 no. Let's not say that. That's not. No, 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 no. no. Only, <laughs> only pies. pies. <laughs> only pies, yes. Uh, okay. Well, everybody, thank you. For joining the episode um emilio thank you for being on as always it was lovely having yeah, you too man. this is this was amazing this was fun yeah oh my, my voice hurts all right and then also um lucho thank you for being on and representing costa rica it was great to have you on thank you thank you guys it's been a pleasure talking about the only thing that we love you know yes <laughs> football, football. Yeah. brings us together so, makes us happy yeah come christmas coming well, coming party the football so it's going to be a good time oh yeah oh yeah well yeah and then also jesse thank you for joining as well too and i hope your team does well as too in the world cup so thank you for representing ah, germany hope so too hope so too yeah. thank you for the invitation it's been great of course of course yeah and i cannot wait to play football in the later all right and also <laughs> and yeah that's there's no other people here but yeah everybody thank you for watching the show and just um oh yeah thank you for watching the show and watching this on youtube and on spotify and remember to always subscribe because if you do subscribe you know you you might be happy and you might actually say uh, 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 uh. or ah. okay well, but you can say whatever you want <laughs> and everybody <laughs> watching the show and just right now enjoy football because this tournament only comes once every four years and it is history you cannot take it back so even if it's meant missing okay don't miss work uh, don't listen to me but just enjoy football so i'm saying no matter how old you are if you're young or you're old and I, i'm trying to sound like a motivational speaker and i'm really not right now but i just want to say enjoy the football but as we say and this show in three two one repeat after me ready one love uh, one love football one football. love football. One love football. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye. Well,